Right, in this short video here, I'm going to show that anyone with basic engineering skills and just a lathe can easily make up good quality mandrels for use on the lathe. And to make these mandrels, it's a very short process. There's no milling involved and no screw cutting. So this particular mandrel here is to hold screws, like um, Allen screws. and it can hold them in a collet chuck so that you're able to remachine screws you can shorten them or you can turn them down and recut the thread with a die to make smaller screws and it saves you from having to make up more complicated fixtures like lantern chucks these are really quick and easy to make. You could make them in under half an hour. Right, so firstly I'm going to put my plumbing fitting in the collet chuck. If you haven't got a collet chuck, you can do it in an ordinary three-jaw chuck if you're very careful. Put it in that one there. And then I'm going to part off so that I have two pieces. And then I can make two components out of one plumbing fitting. And then just deeper the back edge. I then get a piece of 25 millimeter diameter bright mild steel bar. You can use tall steel or stainless steel um, if you want to, or even aluminium. And that's obviously larger than the 22 millimeter diameter bore. And I've faced off the other end already. And I'm going to turn this one down to suit the uh, plumbing fitting. So it's a really nice fit on the bore. And it doesn't matter if you have a liney finish on that one, it's all the better for when you put the plumbing fitting on. Like that. And now I can put Loctite 638 on the diameter. And let that set and if the weather's a bit cold you can just give it a light heat up with a gas torch to make the Loctite 638 go off quicker and now I centre drill it and drill to a certain depth with a 10 millimeter um, drill, which is the size of the six millimeter screw cap head. And then finish the bore face with a flat bottom drill or a 10 millimeter end mill bit. So when it's finished, when the cap head goes into that one, 
it's protruding from the front face here by about a millimetre. I then get an allen key which fits the cap head screw and measure that one and choose a drill to suit that one and drill right through. I then drill and tap for a 6mm thread. And finish that one off in the vise. So now I've cut off a piece of the Allen key on the grinding wheel. That one just goes into the head of the screw and push that one down and then lock up the grub screw. So it looks like that. I then make up a steel washer which fits the allen screw and also fits inside the nut. I put the nut back on the mandrel there and face off the front there removing all the writing. Then I turn it round in a three jaw chuck and skim the angle here to produce a shoulder, a flat shoulder, in which the washer will sit on, nice and square. That one can go into the socket and lock up the nut. It only has to be hand tight. Then I can centre drill it Put a live centre up there, turn it down and then thread it. So that's the 6mm stainless steel allen screw turned into a 2BA allen screw and now I can just put it up in the collet chuck again and use this tool just to turn down that bit to the shoulder and finish off the thread right up to the cap head. So that's about it. I'll just show you the inner part of this one there's the allen key in the center there and the allen screw sits on the allen key like that it cannot turn and the washer just locks it all in place and you can use plumbing fittings like this for all different types of chucks, mandrels and fixtures. They're easy to get hold of and relatively cheap to buy. And like I showed, if you use one like this, you can make two mandrels out of the one fitting.